Hi everyone. Hi everyone. How you doing? We are. Um, I'm Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are from Matusu Crafts here in Basingstoke in the UK. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we this is the, unfortunately this video isn't coming to you live. Um, we are currently out having dinner um, for my fiftieth. Well, not for mine. I've done it again. <laughs> second take. We're going to keep rolling this time, though. Um, we are currently out for my brother-in-law's 50th birthday at dinner. And that's it, I got it right. I was say, you, you aged really. I, I aged really quickly. <laughs> I've aged 10 years in a month. Um, so, yes. So, that's why we're not coming to you live. So, we've pre-recorded this. It's um, currently Saturday night, Saturday the 3rd. Um, so, yeah. So, we, we've pre-recorded. Um, but please leave comments down below. Oh, we're going to get joined by a cat. There we go. Um, please leave your comments um, down below as you would do normally. Um, let us know what you think of the project, any questions, where you're from, uh, anything like that. Just let us know. All right. So we are going to be using the um, Cuckoo For You stamp set tonight. And I'm going to be making a Christmas card. I don't actually know what you're going to be making. Are you making a Christmas bean box? No. Are you making a box? Yes. Yes. Okay. I don't actually know what it's making. I don't think he even knows what he's making either. Um, it's going to be... We see, I know what I'm making, he doesn't know what I, he's making. I kind of know. Okay, you're winging it as we go along. Yes, um, So yeah, so we're using the cuckoo for you um, and to make a Christmas card for you. Um, it's not just Christmas as well. You can see in there it's got normal things. Um, so you've got your bunny... What's that animal there? Squirrel. 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 Um, and you've got your bird. So you can turn it into an all-year-round one and Christmas. But I'm thinking, well, we're going to go Christmas ads. Yes. It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so what else do we need to yeah. talk about quickly? So any current Stampin' Up! products that you see us use today, you'll be able to purchase from our online shop if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. That's it. Way. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> um, yes. Anything else? No. Nope. Current you promotions talk. you can find on our website, mythosocrafts.com, under the Stampin' Up! promotions. Uh, Tab. But yes, let's get going. Lovely. Are you going to say hello, Tommy? Okay, I'll lift him up a little bit. There we go. There, oh. There's our little, there's our Tommy. Oh. No, he's a very yeah, heavy, he's just, he's, he's just happy just sitting here, on which is going to be a nightmare just tonight. just resting on you. So, yes, all right, let's crack on. Come you on. can go and do yeah. your bit. I'm going to flip the camera around for you. Oh, okay, no, Tommy's, um, Tommy's gone. He's burying away. Let's give us a bit of light there. Okay. So. Cuckoo for you. Alright, so I'm going to be doing some die cutting, some stamping, but Jay's going to actually help me with my die cutting. Or am I? Uh, you are. No. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Um, so yes. So, cuckoo for you. Um, we are also using the coordinating die set, which goes with it. The cuckoo clock dies as well as the Stampin' Cut and Boss um, Brick and Mortar 3D Embossing Folder. So that's what we're going to be using tonight. Um, obviously glue, dimensionals. I'm going to be using Stays On Ink, okay? Because I'm doing, because I'm going to be using water, um, a water-based colouring technique. I'm going to be, that's why I'm using Stays On. If I was using our, um, our blends, I would be using Memento Ink. All right, so because I'm using a water base, I'm going to go permanent, which is the stays on. And the colours which I'm going to be using is going to be a grey granite, lovely lipstick, and call me clover. Okay, um, yeah, these are the in colours. So these are only going to be around for another year, and then they will disappear. So we're going to make the most out of them this year. I'm going to forget sometimes forget our um, in colours. So I'm going to. Oh, this one isn't an in colour, but these two are. All right, so they're the colours which we're going to be using. So what I've done is I've actually pre um, pre stamped some bits and bobs here. Okay, but I am going to stamp the the clock for you. All right, so I'm going to get my stays on. Let's give myself a little bit of room here, and give myself a bit of a stamping mat as well. This stamping mat, by the way, is what I've used. is actually the foam insert which comes out of the blocks. Um, where if you buy the blocks from us um, and you buy the case, this is what's inside of it, and it's actually perfect for stamping on. 
Um, so I'm going to just ink up my cookie clock. You just can't help doing that every time you say cookie clock. <laughs> now I have to do it now. <laughs> yeah. Every time. How many times am I going to be able to say cuckoo on this video? <laughs> no, I'm going <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to just stamp that down. I need to even go smudge a little bit there. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Pretty. Alright. Now I'm going to clean this off straight away because it is stays on, it does need to be cleaned quite quickly, all right? And you would need to use some of the stays on cleaner as well because it will, it will stain your, um, it will stain your stamp if you don't get it off quickly. So if you don't mind staining, then fine, but if you like a clean stamp, then Cleaner ASAP with your stays on cleaner. And then I'm just going to use some stamp and scrub just to finish that off. There we go. Nice clean stamp ish. You're always going to get some staining, so that's fine. Just means that they're well loved and well used. We, if, a, if a stamp hasn't got, if, isn't stained and it hasn't been used enough, that's what I say. So stain away. <laughs> stain away. <laughs> All right. No, but you can use that new stamping cleaning. There pad. is a new stamping cleaning pad in the new catalogue actually, in the uh, annual catalogue, which was, I think is very going to be very similar to the stays on. Um, it's not going to replace the stays on, but it's it's if you know, especially if you're using red inks, that will stain your stamps. And if you don't, if you if you're if, if you're a little bit fussy when it comes to the staining, then you'll get that nice, get that nice new um, stamp pad as well. Maybe Jay can tell me exactly what it's called in a moment. All right, so now I've stamped, I've stamped everything else which I'm going to be needing for this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of colouring here. Um, so I am going to take my Call Me Clover and I'm just going to take a little bit of a block. I'm just going to take an empty block. And I'm just gonna just stamp it in the corner. You can see what I've done there, because I am going to be using the Winker Stella pen to colour this in. So I've got give that a bit of a squeeze, Winker Stella, that one, and I'm going to colour my trees in. It is called. Stamp cleaning pad and refill. Okay, simple as that. Stamp cleaning pad and refill. <laughs> On page 182. Excellent. So you can see now I'm just colouring these in um, with the Winkle Stella, so which can be done. And the reason we're doing this as well is that we're going to get a nice shimmer to everything. And because we've used a permanent ink as well. It's not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry about my the black ink running. Okay, it's gonna stay nice and crisp. So I'm gonna do both of these up here. Yeah, so we've got the new um, the new catalogue coming out soon, the new Christmas catalogue. So this is why we've decided to show you some of this Christmas stuff out of this because this is in the cut. You can get this right now as well. Um, out of the new out of the annual catalogue, which is a lovely stamp set. There we go. So I've coloured in my my trees. And you'll see in a moment, I've got a little bit of glitter going on there as well. Um, so that's me done for my green. Um, yeah, that's me done for my green. I just need a little bit of tissue, which I've got in my pocket. Just going to clean that off. There. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same for the grey granites. So I'm just going to just ink up the corner. And 
I'm going to also use the grey granite here for colouring in the um, colouring in the reindeer on his antlers. Like so. I'm just going to do a lighter wash on this one here, so for his um, for his face. What was it that track? You said for his uh, jolly good fellow, I said. Jolly can. That's funny. Go on. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that one there, and I'm also going to do the same for the. Um, for the ornaments down the bottom down here so I'm just I'm just running I'm just doing a, a gentle wash over over those don't want them to be too too dark um but I want them to have a little bit of colour there and just gently Down like that and we also use the grey granite here for colouring in the door go a little bit darker so the more ink obviously if I'm coming into this part here this is the more ink which I'm using so it's going to make it darker that's it there we go so that's nice. coming darker for the edges Dave colouring as well, doing some prep for his project. So that's that one done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, my lovely lipstick. Now I'm, I just need a tiny bit, so I'm just going to literally just take pick a little bit up from the lid here. And obviously we're going to have to give the reindeer a red nose, aren't we? We just got to be done. And obviously the more the darker you go, go into the more intense. That's it. And I'm going to have a little bit lighter here and I'm just going to colour in those little bits just in the middle of his ears just to give him some pinky. That's it. Okay. Um, clean that off again. And I'll just close that up. Okay, so I'm going to colour the, the clock in in a moment. Alright, so can, where's my camera gone? there that's it so you can see I can't work this out can you see there there's a little bit can you see a little bit of shimmer going on there you go I think you can catch it there now for the lights just catching it it's really quite shimmery in person but once that um once that light catches it there, there you go so we've now you by colouring in with the wink Stella you've got that there you go you can see now I've got a nice shimmer on the reindeer as well so it just adds a nice glittery feel to everything all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut out the um, the treehouse and then whilst I'm coloring in that Jay can then hopefully if he's going to be my assistant yeah. is then going to color is going to then cut out the other bits for me whilst I'm coloring this out here all right, so what I need for this one is I need the house and I need this, a couple of pieces to this. There's a mechanism for it and I need this part here. Okay, so that's going to go in with that one. The rest of it, well, I need that one as well. I need that one. I need the reindeer. I need the door and we need that one there. Um, I'm not going to do the clock, but you've got the old, we've got the dies for all the other elements here as well, and even the hands. Okay, they don't coordinate with the die with the stamp, but you can do, you can cut these out and say a nice gold or a silver, and that would look really pretty, I think. Okay, there's the dies ready for Thank you, you very in much. a moment. All right, so I'm just going to take the die machine. So I'm just going to grab my big shot, big shot. Big foot, no, the big shot. Okay, 
I'm going to pop my in there. I'm going to pop my house frame there. And I'm going to run that through the machine. need to do one more thing first so now with this one here I am going to there's this, this other mechanism right here okay and I'm going to line this one up so you line the heart up at the top and you line the heart up at the bottom so there and there and that's going to punch out and that's going to make some some light some marks in the tree in the house for me I keep on to say tree house for some reason it could be a tree house cuckoo clock Show you that in a second. Let's move this out of the way, and there we go. If you can do some die cutting for me, Jay, that'd be very yeah. handy. Mm -hmm. All right. So what that's done, okay, is that has now um, just cut out a hole right here and made a little slit at the bottom right here. All right. So now I'm just going to colour in. I'm just going to do some very basic colouring. All right, and I'm just going to just pick up some of this lovely lipstick here. And I'm going to colour in the hearts down there. And I'm going to colour in the flower. I'm actually going to leave the, um, the house white, I think. as you could colour that, maybe give it a nice light colour in um, in a neutral colour if you wanted to. Shall I, shall I? Keep it, I'm going to keep it plain. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yes, we're cooking dinner as well at the same time, which I forgot we had the rice cooking. <laughs> so I just literally coloured in all of those little bits, little bits down over there. So that's that part done. Alright, so I'm done with my lovely lipstick here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the um Gonna grab the grey granite again. Actually, no, I don't need to grab the grey granite because I can use what I've got on this block right here. I need to clean off, clean off first. I'm gonna pick up some of this grey granite and I'm just gonna now colour in the roof. Trees. I don't like it when Jay makes a noise when he's cutting and goes whoops or something like that because it means that he's kind of made a mistake. No. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. There we go. Oh, don't you worry. Don't be sweating me, Dyker. <laughs> he's just literally sat right by him on the chair. Let's. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a, a wash over here on the bottom. Like so, and just do a, a gentle wash. Um, I can 
the data on the bottom there. Let's give ands to stand aside. Like so. All right. So that there is my cuckoo clock colored in. I mean, you said it again. Well, said what? Cuckoo. <laughs> right, so you can see that's very, it's very plain. It's very simple, but I didn't want to over over complicate things with the. Um, I can't get used to this camera today. Um, over complicate things with the colouring, obviously. But obviously, you've got the wink of Stella there, so it's going to give it a little bit of a shimmer going as well. What I will do um, is I'm just going to grab the stays on again and there's the birds. So I'm going to stamp the bird in the door of the, the door of the cookie. And I'm going to grab the clock hands. Okay, and I am going to put these in and let's have it. As I put the plastic cover on. There. Okay. Um, I'm just going to clean these off again. Yeah, I cleaned these off quick, quick enough, and obviously because they're only small ones, they didn't really need the clean the stays on cleaner. That's fine. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a little bit of that grey granite here. And I'm just going to colour in the bird there. Clean that off and grab a little bit of the red. And it's going to go quite dark on this one here. And I'm going to give him, turn him into a robin. There we go. So you can see, see that. All right. So good, so that's the colouring done. Whilst I've done that, Jay has so kindly enough done all of the um, the die cutting for me. Um, which is lovely. Perfect, yep, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to use, I'm gonna put this to one side. I am now going to use, do a bit of embossing. So I'm gonna use the, um, the stamping, stamping cut embossed brick and mortar 3D embossing folder alongside with the new 3D embossing folder plate. Okay, so we need the 3D, well, I think you don't need it necessarily. Um, it will still go through your machines with the normal, with the normal plates, but with the 3D embossing, um, with the 3D embossing plate. It will just add a little bit more thickness to it. So you need the Big Shot platform, which is suitable for embossing. Um, you will need to... I'm going to put a piece of paper in my bearer down. There it is there. Oh, dear, oh dear. There we go. I'm going to take my folder. I'm going to pop my Whisper White cardstock in like so close that down and pop that down like that I am now going to grab my embossing plates so it's the purple plate which I'm using and we'll just run that through So that's that, and voila, I, this, this embossing folder is lovely, it's really nice, embossing folder, it's lovely. Alright, so that's really, really simple, uh, we are going to keep it simple. So I have now pre-cut and scored the, um, the card base, so lovely lipstick card base here so this is um, cut at 14.5 centimeters that way by 21 centimeters scored at 10 and a half centimeters in the middle and we are going to just stick
stick this down now. This way is nice both ways as well, so you can have the debossed, debossed, or the embossed. So I'm going to go with this. That whisper white layer was cut to, um, can you remember, was 13 and a half centimetres by nine and a half centimetres, and which has given me a bigger border than normal, but I quite like this bigger border around here. Okay, so that's that. I've also got a circle here which has been cut using the stitch circle frame that dies, and the largest one. So I'm going to position that in the middle to glue in the back of that. So that's going to go in there like so. We've got that. And now we've got all the bits here. Oh, actually, Jay, sorry, you didn't. Yeah. I didn't tell you to cut me the uh, mechanism out. Um, out of that one there. Sorry, I'm so sorry. That's all right. So this one. Yeah, that's it. Please, mm -hmm. out of grey granite. So basically, what this is going to do, that's going to go on like so. And I'm going to put the two Christmas trees either side. I'm going to put the two. I don't know what to call them. What do you call those? What is it? The dangly bits. Don't call them that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. What, what, what else can I call them? Please put in the comments. What do I call them? I don't really want to be calling them my, my dangly bits. Where did, did you cut it already? No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just doing just it. Thinking it out. <laughs> okay, going. so I've got my other thing on. All right, so. Right, so what I need to do here is I need to, um, <laughs> I need to stick, can you pass me over the memento please there, Jay, whilst you're there, thank you very much. Anything else? No, that's fine, I'm using memento here because I'm not going to do any colouring, and this is just the arrow die here now, just die stamp, and I'm just going to line that up and just, on that side there. It's just so that when people use this, they know how it, they know there's something to push up. All right, so you can see there's a score line in the center, in the center here. That's all I need to do. And there's a score line up here as well. So all I need to do is I need to just fold that over. Don't fold that. It's, it's, uh, we are nearly at the end of my card. Are you? We are. But oh, that's good. Well, that is good, isn't it? Yes. And you need to put a bit of glue in here as well. fold on top there that just really spreads that glue out quite nicely inside there good there we go all right and there's another there's another little score line just here so I'm just gonna score fold that back like that so now what I need to do is I need to feed that in there, um, feed that in like that, feed that in there, and then feed it back through that little slit down at the bottom down there, that's it. Actually I should have, if I just take that part out again. Bring that in, I need to get those notches in first, that bit there, and 
that bit there. Now I can then feed it through that part there. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the door here. And I'm going to stick my door on. Where's your DSP off card? What DSP off card? The one you were using. In the box over here, probably. All right, so that's that stuck on there. I'll make sure I don't actually stick that to the back under there. That's good. So lovely. Okay, so I will stick my. Gonna stick my trees on. stick a little bit of glue on the bottom down here on the on the arm now I'm gonna stick reindeer head on that part like so and now I've lost my dang bigots oh there's my dang bigots So now all I need to do, okay, is I think a little bit of glue on this bit up the top here. lined it up with a little um, little bit going in so it's easy so I can make sure I can position this one in the same place and that one there just going to do the same get it to roughly the same height those bits there. Alright so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some dimensionals here. Jay could you do me a favour and pass me the take your pick tool? And then I'm done. Really? That's Jay's warning and then I'm done. Um, <laughs> get your act together. Okay so I'm just going to put some dimensionals around this now. I will be close to this mechanism here just to hold this in place or not hold it in place but just to give it a bit of a channel so it doesn't wobble too much and it stops having a saggy middle and I'm just going to pop one down there and one That's that. So it's time to take all of this off. So how long is yours going to take, Jane? 
I don't know. Because I've been waffling for 35 minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to do one box. going to do a box. But I'll be doing the imperial and the metric measurement. But I'll only be decorating one. Okay. Because I still need to take out the extra. So that's that. So I've got all of my dimensionals off of um, off of everything there. So that is now just going to sit over the top of that. Like so. And there we go. And the best thing about this is, cuckoo. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Put it all the way up. Closer to the camera. Closer to the camera, sorry. Right, okay, let me just, yeah. Because uh, you're going to have to get used to the camera because it's a bit odd. It's great, isn't it? I love it. You can just sit here and just play with this. Yes, I have been playing with that mechanism last night. So there we go. So that there is a Christmas card. Using that. We haven't got any Christmas sentiments at the moment, so you could probably put a Christmas sentiment or you can just leave that and then put a white piece of um, whisper white cardstock in the middle here and then you can have Happy Christmas in there. But I figured it would just be nice just to have this as a nice little Christmas. So there we go, there is my Cuckoo For You Christmas card, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so that's that. So we're, like I said, we've put all of them, we've put everything, links to everything um, will be down below to our online shop, so if there is anything you like the look of, then you can grab it from there um, as well. And we would appreciate if you did, we'd welcome, we'd like you to shop with us. So, without... And for further ado, let's um, pass over to Jay. So Hi. I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will now be Jay's assistant, and um, he can then take over. So thank you for watching. And there we go. And here comes Jay. Can you zoom in or not? You can zoom in. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, you can zoom okay. in. Right. Hi. Yep. Yeah. I'll actually zoom out. There you go. Because I'll be using the Simply Squirt with the metric plate. However you want to call it. All right, I'm right off the edge. Speak up, Jay. The mumbling already. I'm, I'm right off the edge. <laughs> so this is uh, Pool Party cardstock. Uh, 10 centimeters by 21 centimeters. So I'll actually be making a gift box or a box and I'll show you what it will fit neck uh, at the end. And I have pre-colored a couple of things, but I'll show you that in a second. I'll come back. Onto there, where's my stylus? Thank you, Barry. <laughs> So uh, 10 centimeters by 21 centimeters. I'll start at uh, nope. That's why. So I'll start at. It's li really easy. Uh, he says two, four, six, eight. Who do you appreciate? <laughs> and then on that one, because. On the left hand side, you don't actually have the, uh, the point fives. Um, so I'm going over to here, which is so 20. No, bear with. I've made a template. One and a half. Okay, that's it. That's why I did the half. <laughs> uh, so back here, you just need one and a half on there. So which is going to be 19.5. And then two, two, yeah. And then two centimeters, one, two, which is 17.5. Okay. Can you see? Let's have a look. 
There we go. So I'm turning that over and then just scoring the same, which was one and a half. So that will be one and a half, so 19.5. And then two, which is 17.5. So I'll go through that again. Uh, 10 centimeters by 21 centimeters, scoring at two, four, six, eight. Turn it using the scoreboard uh, from the right hand side uh, you score at 19.5 which is one and a half from the edge and then 17.5 uh, which is two centimeters from the from the last score line and three and a half from the edge okay so that is the scoring for that i've also done one for imperial so this one is sorry three and three quarters by eight and a half this one you are scoring at what's that <laughs> no half an inch one and a quarter seven inch why are you laughing seven and three quarters okay turn it round that way <laughs> Barry, three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter. Is that better? Yes. And three. So I'll go through that again. <laughs> three and three quarters by eight and a half. Score at half an inch, one and a quarter, seven inch, and seven and three quarters. Turn it. Three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three inches. There we go. I was reading at the same time and I was um, trying to think, oh, that doesn't look right, but it was right. So we are just going to burnish the fold. Actually, we're going to cut. Uh, if Barry gives me the scissors. 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 So we are going to cut um, along there scissors. and on top. Thank you. Just because I want to keep this bit intact right i'll just zoom out slightly there you go so from here we are just cutting up to the second score line and then this one we are cutting to the first Is it the first? No, it's the second as well. What am I like? Okay, second and second. There you go. Do the same for this way. Second and second. So, one, one, first, second. Okay. I was meant to be stamping. I forgot. Never mind. Turn it over and do the same. So, the first this one up to the second score line and up to the second score line that's better I was trying to lift it it looked quite dark so you will have that funky flaps like that I'll do the other end second to second Okay, so now that those are done, you would then cut off just to the right of that score line, like so, and then to the left of this score line. Okay, so you'll have that funky Tetris looking thing. So do the same on the other end to the left of the score line and then to the right of that score line okay and you will have something like that so do the same for that one so now that it is done I was gonna do some stamping with some of the stamps that was what Barry used which was the leaf uh, rich Russell Ver Berry rich Russell Berry 
So I'm just gonna do um, some random stamping, which is gonna be the front. Um, there we go. I'm just gonna do some random. I'll just go everywhere. <laughs> go everywhere. Go. Um, bar is cleared up already. I need the um, if you want sorry. It's fine. I got it. Now it's done. And now I need um, Cajun craze. Uh, scroll. So I'm just gonna do that in between. If there's any in between, I think I'll, yeah, that's fine. Go. Just go over the edge. Oops. That looks. That's not random at all. Does it? <laughs> Doesn't look random at all. Oh well. There we go. That is done. I'll just close this up and clean the stamps. All right. What other stamps was in the case? The barrel moved away. There you go. So I've actually stamped that in memento and colored it in blends. So this is that. Okay, so I've colored that in. Stamped it in memento, colored it in light soft suede, dark soft suede. So that's the combo. Uh, bronze ivory i tried to lighten a little bit of the um is it hazelnut the nut and of course the color lifter you can't go without the color lifter i can't acorn. see acorn <laughs> right i'm just gonna i don't like the setup it's too high there we go sorry because I stand up and I like to see the, the screen. Uh, so that's it. I have done that. And we are just going to bone fold this. So I'll show you. So you're basically just folding the middle section. And then on here, do the same. The middle section. That will give you that. So on the right hand longer tab fold that in the middle as well just in the middle so that will keep it intact the same goes for the last tabs oh i forgot oh yes it's fine there we go okay on this side fold that down and then fold that down Fold that down and fold that down. Yeah, Barry likes to sit down crafting. I like to stand up. So I, I prefer the, the camera so I can actually see it instead of looking at the screen. There you go. So now you're basically just gonna fold this down and fold that down. So I'll just get the folder and then you are just gonna go like that. So that will be so it's kind of like a no no glue fold flat box in a way if you don't want to make it up if you have a party or things like that you just want to keep it nice and flat you can score it cut it and then just keep it flat in your uh, cupboard or in your drawer and then when you need it you can just fold it up it's really easy he says <laughs> So just basically fold it up, fold that up, and then tie a ribbon. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna decorate it with the squirrel. Is a better piece? And I'm just gonna tie it with a ribbon, which I'm gonna use the Magnolia Lane combo pack. And before I tie it, it actually fits your wink of Stella that Barry used 
So a nice gift for someone who crafts for class attendees or things like crafty friends, um, someone who likes a bit of sparkle in, in their life. <laughs> so I'm just gonna basically like keep it simple, fold it up, cut it. Okay, I, I want to be a bit stingy than that. <laughs> So you just basically cut um, cut the ribbon to your liking. Um, how am I gonna do this? And then I'm just gonna double knot it. There you go. Double knot it. Cut the ends off. If you want, uh, it's really dark, isn't it? It's gone dark quite quickly. So if you want to for it to be more secure, but it's actually secure in there. You can put glue dots on there, but I think that's fine. Uh, and I was just gonna do some more. So I've got the, what's this called, Barry? Um, Tail is it truly well, Taylor it's the tag. Yeah, it's part of the old, truly. old Olive. And then I was just gonna have that underneath. Do it that way, and some sentiments. Have you got whisper white? Um, is that enough whisper white? Yeah, that should be fine. It is the tailored tag. Tailored tag punch. Yes. So on here you have time to celebrate. So I'll just probably use um, celebrate or something. So keeping it within the time set there we go and then I just need memento use the edge of your memento and ink the up or I think I just caught can, it, can you see I think I caught the end of the oh but you could use washi tape to um Mask that as well if you prefer. Oops, go gun flying. Flying squirrel. <laughs> flying squirrel. In a bag. I can't forget. There you go. And then now that's done. I'm just gonna done done done. Use that on here because I just want that to go on there actually no because if I'm good if you want people to just take it off so I'm just gonna have that there gonna have it there and cut this off let's cut that off okay and I'm just gonna pop him up as well again what other stuff is there actually Oh, I was just looking at what other um, things are in this in the stamp. <gasps> Ooh, can I have a tree? You can have a reindeer. No. You can have my dandy bit. Okay, I'll, I'm I'm just gonna use Barry's tree, which he colored with Wink of Stella, um, and shaded spruce. No, just wait, that's all. That's um, call me clover. Call me clover. Ooh, that's quite nice. Yeah, it's shaded quite nicely. Yeah, cool. I'm just gonna have that up and then put him there. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Okay. It just needed something. So I'm just gonna add a bit of glue at the bottom there. Stick him up there. You can even have a couple if you want a couple. <coughs> I'm just reading Barry's stuff. There you go. 
So I have a couple there. Yeah, that looks cool. Thanks, Barry. Right. Take that down. Yeah, rain bear. No thanks. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rudolph. Why do you have a reindeer with earrings. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a bit of a big earring. Show, show, show on the camera. What you mean? You've got a reindeer. Okay. With earrings. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably get away with something smaller if you really want your reindeers to have earrings. <laughs> there you go, nearly done. Just gonna have that there. Show a bit of the tree trunk. And then just cut that off. Actually, I'm just gonna glue. It's really dark here now. There we go. So hopefully you could see that, what we were doing. So that is a Wink of Stella gift box that you can just pull off and then gift it. So if you if you want for it to be secure, you could always glue the tabs and then close the up. But if, as I said, if you want to keep it nice and secure, uh, nice and flat before you need it, pre-class or pre-parties, um, so you can just keep it nice and flat. I must have put this really tight earlier, but it will go back in. There we go. So I think that is that. I tend to use my tummy to push it back in. <laughs> there we go. Really? There we go. So for, you just basically do the same for the imperial measurements. So cut to the second, cut to the second, cut to the second score up, turn it round, cut to the second score up on all of them, and then snip down here and down there. Okay, turn it over, snip down there, snip down there, and you just make it up and ta-da, that's what it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach is gurgling. Right. I think that is it. Really? There you go. So thank you for Barry's um it's like tree book, didn't Yeah. It, like? Yes, it does. <laughs> I like Lovely. My trees. Right, Tommy, you're don't gonna like have anything to... else, I just like my trees. <laughs> oh what? From on my box. Yeah, just Thanks. like my trees. Tommy, you're gonna have to get off the table or the chair. Okay. Come on, Tommy. Come on. Right, let's just go in. Go. That's it. That's better. Go. Come up. You gotta say hello. Right. So this is Barry's card. Come with on. the. There we go. That's it. Hello. So we'll go. Peekaboo. Cuckoo. That is so cool. It's actually his card. And card. that's got the um, brick. Bricks mortar. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, 3D um, bricks, bricks and mortar, 3D embossing folder. Yeah. And this is my gift box or treat box, so you can fit um, sweets in there. Uh, obviously, you can, as you saw, you can fit Wing of Stella in there. Uh, so yes, I think that's quite cool. So two ways of using that stamp set: using the actual mechanism on there and using the other um, stamps on there as a background stamp, make your own uh, DSP, I guess, and coloring um, the squirrel in blends. Yes. Yes. So I'm paying attention to Tommy, aren't I? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, thanks again thanks for joining us. Watching. Hopefully we'll be live next Sunday. 
Yes, hope, yeah, hopefully next yeah. Sunday we'll be back to being live. Um, yeah, I don't think we've, we've got anything planned for next Sunday. So no, yeah. we, will be fu- we will be back. Yes. Tommy, you're on camera. Say hello to all of your fans. <laughs> Keep a look out on our blog. Uh, we have the Gentlemen's Crafters Designer Design Team. Blog yeah. Hub on Friday. Um, Paper Craft Crew Design on Wednesday. And I think that's all the... Um, post but we might be uh, doing some more posts throughout the week but just uh, yes, yes subscribe to our newsletter and uh, blog updates as well and don't forget to subscribe and like uh, the, the video subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel if you haven't done so so you, every time we upload a video you can get um, notified as well excellent cool. lovely thanks everyone for watching thank and you so it. much yeah, yes all good yeah lovely. thanks everyone for watching say bye bye Tommy bye bye no, he don't like it. <laughs> oh, All right. cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye.